morning guys welcome to today it is the crack of dawn crack of dawn why you ask because sam went back to work sam sam abandoned us how do you feel about that gabby that your dad abandoned us and now we have to do chores i don't know come on how do you feel about it do you mind doing chores or do you prefer he do them he do them yeah i prefer he, he do, do them, them too yeah well, I <laughs> there are horses but we prefer he do them the puppies are ready to go. Daisy's coming. And yes, it's not lost on me that there are horses and that he does them because he likes to do them. And I love oh, that he likes to do them. Yeah, like he, he treats mm -hmm. us good, you guys. Are you guys happy? I put two socks on. So far. So far, right? Yeah. This is all the medicine for Penny. All the medicine. Like, it actually amazes me that Sam takes care of this stuff in the morning, because normally he wouldn't. Gracie ripped this one, too. I know, Gracie's a devil. All right, let's do it. Chores, food, and medicine. Thank you, girl. her eyes is that I couldn't find a cream to put in her eyes so I have this stuff but this I have to soak a pad and then kind of drop it in her eyes but to soak one pad would take the whole thing like to actually get it in her eyes so this is just a joke can't do that I can use this uh, eye wash stuff to clean her eyes and it works so good I keep it at the house and today I'm going to put the fly mask on while she goes outside and keep it on all day and see how that works Penny's getting more and more relaxed as time goes on I don't know how long I'm supposed to do the liver cleanse for I need to look that up because we're almost out I don't know if it's something that she has to take forever it might be she's also a lot calmer when she's eating yeah, like before, she would be like a little bit stressed out with us standing here. Not like crazy, but you can see she's so relaxed right now. She's like a little bit paying attention to us, a little bit moving her bowl away, but mostly she doesn't she doesn't care. Like, and when we got her, she used to be afraid to be in the stall with somebody. So she's doing better, huh? How's your puppy doing? Pretty good. Is that poo? Is that poo? That is. Your puppy's eating poo. Remember the time when Sophie would freak out that her puppy was eating poo? Because I don't like her kissing my face after after she eats poo. Yeah, you could brush your teeth, wash your face. Um, it doesn't work that way. It does. So I let her lick you first? <laughs> yeah, that would work too. Hello. Hi, sweet girl. And I want to show you guys when I clean her eyes, what she does. She's actually pretty phenomenal. Like, I try and drop eye drops into her eyeballs with the thing right close to her eye and she just stands there. That's how like much her eyes must bother her or how calm she actually is. First I clean her eyes and she leans into me and is like, do it, do it. She likes to have her eyes cleaned. It usually takes me a good two claws to really get it cleaned. Yes. See how good she is? She literally just stands there and lets me do whatever I need to do to her face. I remember, well, she's always liked me to rub her eyes. Wait, I need to do it again. Yes, good girl. All right, so I try and like drop this stuff in her eyeball if I could. See, I like can get a little bit in that end. I can get a little bit there. Like that's how good this horse is, you guys. And then I end up squirting it all on this cloth, which I can't, like, which is just a waste. I'm trying to get it in that way, but it doesn't work very well. So the best thing I can do is try and drop it in. Like, there's not enough to saturate a cloth. Hard, huh, Pen? I just stick it right in her eyeball and she just stands there. Like, how good of a horse is that? Like, she's not a horse, she's such a woman. 
All right, so we finally got her fly mask on. There go the ponies. Oh, hold on I'm there, Missy. Right here. You ready? When I put the fly mask on her, she already knew what it was. Like she knew where it was going. Put her. Don't don't step on your lead rope. Whoa. Go. Well, um, one thing about this fly mask that I like is that it's got a little part here you put the lead rope to. Okay, you ready? Okay, walk on. All right. And around here, such a good pretty penny. So that's how long it takes to get her ready in the morning. Like a true princess. What's the matter? Hi, Willow. People are saying that they miss you. They never get to see you. Even though we're always here and we're always touching you. <laughs> always giving you treats. Wait, there's something on your nose. Um, people don't get to see it. Uh oh, I don't know if she can see you guys. She couldn't find the water bucket. She can't see in that thing. You know how I know? She walked over there and was standing there. I don't think she can see in it. That's what we've been telling you. She can't. Well, she can see she me. Can't see anything. How do you know? Do you need help, Penny? I don't want to leave her down here if she can't see. It's too dark. Come on, yeah, it's dark. It's like wearing sunglasses inside. Oh, I feel bad. Like, this is not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, like, normally she just... They had their fly mask on at night and their eye got hit. Yeah, like normally she walks right over to that water bucket and drinks. This time she's been feeling around for it. Yeah, she can't see. She can't see. See, she can't put her... There she goes. That's odd. But I mean, like... I know, but everybody and the vet said put it on her. And it's probably normal to do, but I don't want to make her life hard and make her scared. Sophie thinks she's going to get scared with it on and bolt through the fence. <laughs> you don't want it, do you? I don't think she wants it, guys. I'm going to leave it while we do chores and see how she does. It's better than having gooey eyes, huh? Go. That's it. That's all I got for you. Hit the road, Missy. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't like it. You don't like it. You guys, she never stands with me this long. Even if I give her a treat, she usually takes a treat and then goes. Did she see the hay? Better outside, probably. All right. Willow's going to roll, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the water's super high. Like, Willow can reach that water. I don't know, like... I think she is the kind of horse that could handle being like it being dark in her stall at night and her not being able to see as much. Maybe I need a different kind of fly mask, one that's not so dark. That's a possibility. You coming? Hi. Anyway, welcome to today. Welcome back to normal. People are asking me, why was Gabby so grouchy yesterday? Because she stayed up late the night before. It was a holiday for her. She was not invested in the day. It was her idea to stay in bed the whole entire day and just relax. And so uh, she just was grouchy. Same thing happens to all of my kids when they don't get enough sleep. Clearly, Sophia gets enough sleep. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Convince 
starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Sophie's package that she ordered before Christmas finally arrived. She was hoping it would arrive before Christmas. What is it, though? It's a quack quack, I'm a duck. It's a quack quack, I'm a duck. And who's it for? Daisy. <laughs> Molly thinks it's for her. Molly, no. Daisy. Oh, what's that, Daisy? What's that? We just got the dogs to settle down. <laughs> the habit's gonna get crazy again. Also, Sam got a package. He's not here today. He finally got a package and he's not even here. School is killing us, you guys. Killing us. My, my house is such a mess, but we got lots of good school Wait, done. Okay, so Sam had bought a package off of eBay. It is a mystery box. Have you guys ever bought mystery boxes before? Basically, it's a mystery box. It's supposed to be an electronic mystery box. I don't know what's inside of it, but it's supposed to be like a bunch of stuff like a bigger value than what you pay. So the girls called Sam and said, hey, can we open it? And he said, yes. Yeah. So we're gonna see what is in dad's mystery box. Don't mind the mess but of our kitchen. But we both get to take things out of. We literally made, our house is such a write-off and we have to go to the barn in a few minutes. So we're just gonna eat and then go to the barn. Right, what do you guys think? Like we are all about. It's an electronic one. It's an electronic one. Yep, we're yeah. all about it. Yeah, we should go sit on the couch and open it. No. Why do people say electronic? It's electronic. Okay. It's P. Five and one. Candy? Oh, this looks like candy. Oh no, it's not candy. What is this? I thought it was candy. What is that? No, let's not sit down. Okay, so this is an R4 resolution for the 3DSI. That. Oh, it's a backpack and it's cute for your camera. It's not a backpack. Oh, it's a bag. It looks like a cross body bag, maybe. It's for something. Um, SIM cutter? So, oh, then we got a uh, memory card, like a memory stick. What is this? I don't know, that's the weirdest bag of earth. Oh, maybe you put it over top of your camera, I so betcha. So it doesn't get wet. So your camera doesn't get wet. Well, that's interesting. All right, this is the stupidest box, mystery box on earth. Whatever oh. this thing is. <laughs> it's all the things we never were gonna use. Dual, Dual SIM, SIM cutter. cutter. For iPhones 4S and 4. It's not ours. It's a SIM cutter. Okay, wait, we gotta put it back in the box so Dad can look at it. He said we could open it. And then we have a blow up thing. A blow up? Oh, up? he's gonna be so disappointed. Like, we, we thought it was gonna be so cool and we were gonna get like really cool camera no, stuff. I did not know what was gonna be in it. So, this is an inflatable thing for your camera or your phone. I don't know. All right, so then we got this big, huge thing. Turn it around so we can see. Five oh, you know what five. it is? It's oh, a cords. filter, I betcha. Oh. It is. That's kind of neat. We could use that. Oh, gosh. It's, it's like it's a... Thick. Yeah, like, you know, what's it called? And you hold it so that it reflects. It's a reflector. Yeah, so, it yeah. the thing, and then it has, like, white, and then it has gold. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, that's neat. What even is it for? It's for taking photographs. So, like, you reflect the, the light photo. onto yourself. I know it is. It's a Frisbee. Yeah, it might end up being a frisbee this for the dogs. For your dogs. That's Mo cool. Can we try it for Molly? No, come on. That's that's probably expensive. Maybe I don't know. It, it's probably it was... cheap. <laughs> I got Sophie on this car scraping duty. This is what's so great about having kids, you guys. She actually asked if she could do that. She says it's fun. Fun. And we got the horses down there. We're leaving them. And uh, we are waiting for Gabby. That's the drill. That's what we always do, you guys. I'm excited to go to the barn though. When Sam takes the girls to the barn, it's super good for me because I'm able to get like a lot of stuff done and I get a break from it. But I actually love going and seeing our horses and like trekking through the snow and all that kind of fun stuff. Really quick, um, I'm 
made a homemade poppet. She's been making a whole bunch of homemade stuff the last couple of days, tons of it. Um, well I ordered a poppet that needs to be here. Yeah. I just have like three more things coming, I think. Yeah. We are the ordering family. Now that COVID hit, we are an ordering family. All right, we got Gabby here, finally ready to go. I literally just got down and then I looked out the window and opened the door to go out. And Sophia was just gonna scrape that off. So I'm like, oh, I have to wait. <laughs> She had to wait so she didn't have to do it. That's the plan, you guys. All right, so Gabby, what are you wearing today? Green pants that I got for Christmas. Emerald green, her new faves. They're not really emerald, they're darker. But I got my new winter coat. Yay, it's very warm sometimes. What kind of belt are you wearing? And my CWD dirty white belt because not I wear Not CWD. Not CWD. C4. C4 belt. Yeah, and what shirt? Sophie, stop. And my new Lemay base layer. And her new base, new, new Lemay, new. And my boots. And then her boots. What boots oh, are you wearing? Oh, and my new socks that I got from oh. Dad. She's got new socks on. She's got boots on. What boots have you been wearing at the barn lately? Um, my winter ones that I got this year for winter. No, but what boots you are like? So they're in the bag right there. All right, so she's you been can, wearing. I buckled in it, so it's all safe. Oh yeah, so there you go, you guys. See, can you see it? That is her boots, all buckled in, safe and sound. I love that Gabby takes such good care of her boots. Should we start walking without you, or should we wait? Wait. All right, so let's talk about Chino's feet. So basically, our farrier lives very far away, and it's impossible for him to come here every time Chino loses his shoe, or Storm loses his shoe. So, because Chino loses his shoes often, he recommended that we take off his shoes and see if that would help fix the problem. It didn't fix the problem. He's too sore to ride, so we have to put new shoes on him. And our farrier can't just keep coming here every time we need new shoes because he lives far. So unfortunately, our farrier said like, obviously he needs more than he, our farrier can do for him, which is sad because we love our farrier. So he recommended that we try somebody closer to our house so basically he quit on us <laughs> yeah our farrier quit on us even though we really like him i really liked him so we're going to try a whole new farrier thing and you know farrier is one part of our journey that i've never really got to explore more looks like icing sugar let's see kick it for the people that don't for the people that don't know what snow is like Gabby says it it's sucks. like icing sugar. It sucks. <laughs> and sometimes like having different experiences with something will teach you more. Like we just have one farrier, he does the same thing. Like I haven't really learned a lot about it. So we have a guy coming on Thursday to put shoes back on Chino and hopefully that's gonna yeah. fix him. We have two more rides until we can ride Chino again. Hopefully, knock on wood. Hide the halters. Hide the halters. What a, what a boy. Chino, uh-oh, see? He's making a run for it. They're both making a run for it. Storm is gathering the herd away from us. Oh, oh, no, no. God, I'm sick of this waiting. You got me going crazy tonight. So why? So, it took me a long time to get all the way up here. Storm's still leading Finn astray. Look at Finn. Chino's like, I'm too sore to go. Finn's like, wait for me. Chino just freaking stands for us. He's a true gentleman. I I I'll wait I for you. you go. Yeah, Chino's a true gentleman. Storm is not. Storm's like pushing them all away. Yeah, but here's the thing. We shouldn't chase them. We should just stand here and be like, fine, you want to go? I mean, we only have two hours to ride, though. Oh. How's your feet, big boy? 
Yeah, I know, he's still lame. I've never been this far before. Look how beautiful though. I'm walking through underneath all these snow covered trees. Oh man, I got my workout today. So this is the field you guys have never seen. Oh good lord. This is it, this is the big field. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you Awesome. All right, all right. Me and mom will go. Okay, go. I get, hopefully okay. I don't get run over. Yeah. Gabby's gonna stand here and catch them. They will. And <laughs> Sophie and I are gonna make the long trek over these however many acres. Five acres. Oh my gosh. Is this oh. the bad part of owning horses? Yeah, I said to the guy when we first moved here, well, how do we catch our horse? <laughs> he said, you go out there and catch them. Bye. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. Really hope there's no pond out here. Look at it, you guys. It's beautiful. You just scared me. So pretty. Look at how beautiful. Like it doesn't look anywhere near as beautiful on the camera. There is no pond. Gabby's like, just get me no, the horse. No we drive by there every single day. Oh. If there is a pond, we'll Finn's just digging for grass. Like seriously, if you, gallop yeah, you gallop off. <laughs> you little sneaky, sneaky. Go that way, Sophie. Oh, good boy. You coming to me, Storm? Oh, good boy. It's because they know they're caught. Yeah, we're gonna catch Storm. We're not dumb. We know he's a tricker. I love you. You don't even have a warm blanket on because, oh, there we go. You're caught. You are a devil. But isn't he like such a, a show horse? Oh, like, there's three horses there. Oh gosh, now we're getting surrounded by horses. They're all coming. Come on, Benny. All these horses are coming? And Gabby's holding them off. Yeah, Finn's a follower. Comment below, are you a follower? Or are you a leader? And you should know that the world needs followers and the world needs leaders. Being a leader is a much harder job than being a follower. I feel like I'm a follower. I don't know what I am. I will not just follow blindly. I do follow blindly. I build attachments really easily. And if I love you, I will love you forever, no matter what happens. Incoming. Oh my gosh. I you thought you were supposed to hold them off. Now we're gonna be, do about thin. Those are Kaylee's horses. Come on, Finny Finn. I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, my feet are warm though. Come on, Finn. Don't think you're staying behind. Oh, uh, Finn, uh, what's his name's got his blanket. Come on. Oh my gosh. No, let me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Finn is a follower for sure. I need to fix Texas blanket. I feel bad because Finn was coming to me and then I just walked away to catch the storm. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get walking back. There's a horse there standing in Gabby's spot preventing us from getting out. Closer now, cause I don't wanna slow this down. My heart is screaming out your name. I'm wasted on you. Here we are, right underneath the stars. 
This is so beautiful though. Even though it sucks having to chase our horses through acres and acres and acres and acres, nothing is more beautiful for your spirit and nothing makes you feel more energized and excited for life than walking through the snow, catching your horse. Like nobody chooses, nobody would just choose to go out and walk through the woods for no reason. It says only one more coat a day. Oh, dead, you guys, I'm dead. Let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless. And I won't waste it. Sophie brought Storm for a drink. She's like, if you want to run that much, you must be thirsty. No. Nope. Honestly, I've never seen more happy horses though. Like all those horses out there look so happy and busy and doing their own thing. So I ate an egg and toast. Before we left, that was not enough energy for what I just did. Sophie likes the front cross ties the best because they're really close to the, to the tack room. So I can leave her. Okay, hurry up. We only have like an hour and a half now because it took us so long to catch our horses. This is like seriously getting a problem. We can't take treats out into the field to catch them because there's a lot of horses out there who cause a stampede for sure. Gabby said that Storm gets thicker hair in winter. Wow, it actually is thicker. That's crazy. Normally it's like a string in yeah, summer. An extra layer on top. You're okay. It's okay, Storm. I'm just looking. I know, but it must like, he it obviously doesn't want to be ridden. An ridden. extra layer on top. And then it, I don't know what it does, but it just comes out suddenly. Now that we're in a new term of school, um, I'm looking for a new book to read to the girls. Obviously I have to buy it online because you can't go to the bookstore anymore. No. Thank God. Thank goodness we went before Christmas to get the girls new books. So um, I, you guys comment below. I need like a, a teen book. It doesn't have to be about horses. It no. has to just be a good story. Well, a mid no, middle school teen. or teen. You like, you like both. I like the kid ones. All right, we'll do middle school. We need middle school books. What's the name um, of the book you're reading? Do you remember? Unicorn Diary? The Un Unicorn Quest. Unicorn Quest. Remember the book you're writing, reading, Gabby? A curse so dark and lonely. A curse so dark and lonely. I said I would come and say hi after I did Storm's Because Finn got so sad when I was walking towards him that when I just walked to Storm. I know. They'll get used to it. They understand. Uh, why don't you try without the Martingale today? Not going to happen. Why? But he did so good without the Martingale. That was... No, he did not. Bolting off, not listening to the bit. Yeah, that's Finn. He's only good sometimes without Martin. Finn, did you do that? Finny. Did you see all the times I ran him into the wall? Yeah. I didn't know it was because of not Mar not having a Martingale. Oh, it was. How do you like the new girth? Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yep. How do you like the new girth? Come with me while I change my shoes. Come with her while she changes her shoes. I think that means she wants to show you guys her shoes. She's not bragging. She's take really good care of them. Because she takes really good care of she takes really good care of them. Okay. I take really good care of my helmet. This is my bit. I just changed it. Um, All right. So here's where they say, like, the boot bag stays. In winter, everything gets dirty and yucky. Like, the ground is all wet from our boots. Yeah, that's why we put it under there. Um, so people are probably wondering, why aren't you wearing your winter boots? Because I had to break these in, and I want to wear these. So do, it's not that cold out yet. So do you find them too tall for you or they've gone down enough? They're still a little too tall, but they're 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 coming down. See that part bent for me riding? Yeah. Yeah. That part. My baby. Oh my child's prettier. You know what? So I'm glad that they like have appreciation for the stuff that they have You're because getting it dirty. Because it costs a lot and I want them to take care of it. You're getting it dirty. All right. I've almost dropped her. Don't drop it. Yeah, so Sophie gave Storm treats and he dropped one. He dropped one treat, two. two treats. So he just stood there and stood there and stood there, but he was thinking about it. Like he's a thinking horse. I and so, all right, let's go find Chino. You don't like them, remember? So when Gabby undid the cross ties, oh he was like, hold on a second. I dropped some treats here. Like lots of times horses don't think or like they, they're, they're not as thinking a storm. Like that's why he he plans and plots and thinks. He's a thinking horse, and he's super cute too. Are you gonna go all the way and give him treats? Yeah. Aww. 
Such a good girl. I'm gonna go wait in the car. I'm gonna go wait, I'm proud of you. Aw, you're so dedicated, Gabby. So proud of you. So I'm gonna go uh, turn out all the lights. Yeah. I'm gonna turn out all the lights. All you have to do is close this big door. Oh, Storm's gonna, Finney's gonna pee. We got home and there was a package. Who was it for? The guy just left. The guy just left, yeah. It's so, for me? I already opened the box, but this stand is. Stand still, let's see what it is. It is, let's turn it over. Oh, so this is all the stuff that it comes with. Super cool. It's a trick riding set, I love it. Trick riding. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get back from the barn, I'm always so hungry. Like, can hardly handle it hungry. And I always look like this with my hair. Freak salad it is. That is a nice looking horse. Don't you know that you're beautiful?